Alright guys, what is up? And today I'm bringing you guys a gameplay of commentary on the map hijacked using the MAA1 Gold. This was back when I was Master Prestige, so this gameplay is like about two weeks old, something like that. So, uh, what is going on guys? Um, basically, this right here is a, I believe, a 54-0 flawless gameplay. Oh my god, Chris, you went 54-0. You're a beast, man, you don't need to tell me. But all right, guys. Let's uh, be serious here for a second. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this right here is a 54-0 gameplay using the MAA1 with the Extendamax stock, I believe. Got this puppy gold. Fortunately, I lost it when I reset my stats, but oh well, it's done and over with. Now, uh, I do have some pretty crazy news for you guys. All right, story time. Gather around, children. So, <clears throat> basically, what happened uh, when I reset my stats when I was Master Prestige? About a day or two later, after resetting my stats, I my friend says that he's in a glitch lobby right now. I'm like, what are you talking about, man? There's, you know, it's there, you're not in a glitch lobby. He's like, join me real quick. So what I said, I was like, all right, man, I'll join your game, sure. And it takes me into a private match on Nuketown. And it's like a free-for-all or like a, I think it was a free-for-all or a custom game of some sort. I don't know what it was. And anyways, he's like, yeah, dude. And everyone in the game is pretty much like 10th prestige level 55. So I was like, hmm, this is kind of interesting. Uh, maybe they're just I don't understand why they'd all be 10th prestige level 55 and not master prestige, right? Because once you get to the master, or once you get to 10th prestige level 55, it takes you to master prestige. Now, once, uh, it's kind of like what I first thought. I was like, maybe it is a glitch lobby. Anyways, I get a couple kills, and I'm like, you know what? This is stupid. I don't really play private matches at all because, like, I just don't see a point in them. Yeah, sure, they're maybe fun for some people. But anyways... I back out, and I'm sitting there, and as soon as I back into the lobby, I'm Master Prestige. Or, well, I'm 10th Prestige level 55, actually, to be exact. And um, I, it was like a, a glitched out, hacked XP lobby. And as soon as that happened, I didn't really say anything about this on YouTube, so not very many of you guys know about it, um, unless you were in one of my live streams a couple of week, or like a week ago when I said that uh, yeah, I have to reset my stats because I got into a glitch lobby and I don't want to get reported or a chance of getting banned or etc, cetera, etc. Cetera because I'm kind of against glitches like this. Um, you know, I did do like the token glitch in MW3, but man, that was just something small and stupid that I wanted to double out weapon XP. So other than that, I'm really not for glitches. I'm kind of against them, to be honest with you. So uh, any form of like hacking, modding, glitching, I'm kind of against. I think it's kind of stupid to do, to be honest with you. But... Um, <clears throat> I think it's just kind of, uh, I don't know, I just don't see the point from it. But anyways, back to what I'm trying to say here, get across, is that, um, yeah, I end up resetting my stats. I, I wasn't a very high level, I was only like third prestige, and like that was just pretty much uh, after resetting my stats. And it just sucked because I didn't want to start all over again. But anyways, uh, I had to reset my stats because I didn't want to be like a master prestige with like a day played and like I have like no kills, no wins and stuff like that. I, I, I didn't, I just didn't want to get a chance of getting banned, which is completely reasonable. So this pretty much was all a really big mistake and misunderstanding. So I get on Call of Duty Black Ops today. I'm like, hmm, I haven't played Call of Duty Black Ops in a little while just because I've been taking a break from it. Um, you know, I'm taking my time leveling up again. I'm only like first prestige. Keep this in mind. Um, and I get a message saying that I've been banned from Call of Duty Black Ops 2 for six days, and I got banned for, for it was, I think it was a glitch of some sort, I believe it was, uh, when I looked on, like, their thing, um, the error code it gave me was, uh, a prestige glitch error code, so I guess they thought that I prestige glitched, even though I was only first prestige, I reset my stats, man, so something like this wouldn't happen. And I guess it was just a really, really, really bad idea to even join this prestige lobby in the first place because nothing good came out of it. I reset my stats hoping that I wouldn't get in any trouble for it um, just because I didn't really want to be in the lobby in the first place. I should never have joined it, but uh, I did, and I got reset for it and banned. So I'm banned from Black Ops on the Xbox 360 for six days now, and what's really, really shitty is that they reset my rank, I believe. 
and that's gonna suck big time because I'm gonna have to get back to Master Prestige once again and I believe once you get to um, um, once you get reset like all your kill death ratio and win loss ratios messed up so, like they keep all your like your deaths and losses and stuff like that and you don't have like a they give you like a negative score per minute just because that's what they do I'm not sure if that's true completely but we'll find out either way um, this is gonna suck big time just because uh, you know I, it was something really stupid that could have been prevented by me just not joining a lobby saying or just because someone said they were in a glitch lobby. Something really stupid I just should have never done from the start. But um, it was a mistake that was really harmless that didn't hurt anything. Plus, I don't know why they banned me if I reset my stats. Just because um, I already did what they just did, what they're about to do to me. Minus the six day ban. So I don't quite understand what the point of what they did to me. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much what's going to happen, guys. I'm going to be level 1 again on the Xbox 360, which sucks, man. I kind of wish I never did uh, reset my stats because, you know, there could be a possibility this never would have happened. But I guess that's just the way some things work out. Um, the only good thing that comes out of this is that I'm actually going to play PlayStation from now. I've never played uh, MW3 or Black Ops 2 on the PS3, so... I'm going to be able to actually uh, play on the PlayStation now for Black Ops 2 because I do own it. I've just never played it. I'm like level 1 on the PlayStation. I've, I, I, I just got the game for Christmas but never ended up playing it. But other than that, guys, that's an update. Really shitty thing. Treyarch fucked up. End of story. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.